Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, you'll be seeing this video on the 7th of January, which is uh, Orthodox, Serbian Orthodox Christmas. So um, for those that are celebrating and watching this today, um, Christos Sorori, which means a happy Christmas uh, for the Serbian Orthodox uh, culture. Or happy Christmas second time around. I get two every year, one on the 25th of December and this one today on the 7th of January. This year we're hoping to be a little bit more proactive than we have been over the last six months with Corona, Covid, call it what you will, the pandemic. Uh, we've been sort of like isolated here in the village a lot and we are really keeping our fingers crossed that things might improve, not immediately, so that we can get out and about again um, across the country to show you all the magnificent things that this country has to offer, places to visit, the sort of food that, that is available, uh, culture, fun facts, and much more. We did actually manage to kick that off at the start of last year, I think around about March time, and it was going all right till I broke my ankle. And then of course that put me out of action. And of course the pandemic came uh, after that. So those are the plans for this year in broad brush. Uh, this week it's been a slow week between the two Christmases. Tam's been uh, practicing out uh, a few recipes. She's really got into cooking and she's baking some super super bread um, which you'll find out about uh, in just a minute. But today is not a typical winter's day. When I first came here many years ago, over 20 years ago now, there would be um, snow, very cold minus temperatures, and now look at it. If somebody tells me there's no such thing as global warming, I'm going to have to, you know, strongly disagree with them. But this is us today. Not even a chance for a time lapse, I think, because the clouds aren't that um, active. The hill here is exceedingly waterlogged. And why? Because uh, we've had lots of rain, storms, um, and luckily no flooding. Uh, we are prone to a bit of flooding and all that of course coming after the uh, earthquake about a hundred miles away from us in um, Croatia. Yeah it was a strong earthquake 6.4 on the Richter scale about a hundred miles northwest of where we are across the river Sava which is the natural border between Bosnia Herzegovina uh, and Croatia. Destroyed villages up there and ripped the heart out of a small town as well. Pretty catastrophic but we uh, just had the shakes basically and thank you very much to everybody that sent us messages either on whatsapp or uh, messenger or lots of other ways asking us if we were okay yes we are uh, it was a shock but we're very grateful that we weren't affected as some people truly were heating zone hope I haven't burnt the lens we are Tamara and David an Anglo-Balkan couple who live in a village in beautiful northern Bosnia and Herzegovina here on our channel we take you along with us during our daily lives and also to the places we discover on our trips away from everyday life to culture and food, we'll show you what it's like for us living in this much misunderstood country. We're looking forward to you joining us. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. So today it's uh, a visit to Banja Luka to have lunch with Tam's mum. Tam's dad is back in the village because they're preparing winter food. That's the neighbour in him. Four pigs worth of food. That's a lot of meat. I don't know. Did he say four? Or yeah, he did. He did. That's oh, why he had yeah. to come back. And we got a today. big lump of meat which we are going to roast. And we can show that. And we can show that, yes. And we're going to make nice gravy and we're going to have Christmas party all over again. Now tell me about no need bread. Does that mean you don't need bread? Yesterday I baked four no need bread. So what is no need bread? No need bread is means it's basically bread. Bread you make it's a bread for the lazy people who don't, don't like to make bread. Hang on, you're admitting that you're lazy. You're <laughs> no, lazy. No, I'm not, but I'm admitting it that I hate to clean the counter after baking. 
But that's my job. I'm eating the bread, it is, but still. So you, this bread I make, I uh, find the recipe, I think Jenny cooks or something. She's American, she has a nice channel, but she doesn't post anything anymore, which is sad. And she has a uh, faster no need bread. That means that you don't have to let it rise overnight. Mm -hmm. So she puts a warm water up to 50 Celsius, I think. Mm -hmm. And then you make it in like three or four hours and you let it stand. But the thing that I changed in the recipe and I find that works much, much better is if you just fold the dough with the spatula in the bowl three times. So you leave it for half an hour, then you fold it, leave it for half an hour, you three or four times. And then the bread is amazingly fluffy, full of air, bubbles, and it's lovely. So you're going to show that on a separate video? Yeah, we can make a video about so it. So yesterday we I'll went... I'll show you how easy it is. Yesterday we... we well, we, we, we went shopping and got some meat and we just had pepper steak and we sat down to watch a, a TV series and then we just fell tired, didn't we? Yes, we did. And I injured my back from doing all the fire and uh, it was just painful, so we went to bed. Did you, did you really... I have to ask this because everybody says it's the most important thing in the year. Saying Happy New Year at midnight, I, I mean, I don't feel worse for it, not doing it. Yeah, you should do it, but uh, I do it in the morning now because always the internet blocks up, so you can't even send messages. We used to send SMS before, and you couldn't send one, so we always did it the day after. Well, it's a, a really nice day today. Now, I hope Tam said quite rightly, watch the sun. Let me bring the, the visor down a bit. It's 11 Celsius. And Ooh. Banya Luca is real, this is, what is it? It's, uh, just gone half past midday, and it's quite empty, isn't it, today? Yes, because it's an on-working mm. It's 1st of January. And for those that know nothing about Balkan culture, um, and especially Serbian Balkan culture, we are now in the month of St. January now. Yes. St. January starts today with, it's no working day today. No working day tomorrow? Uh, or is it? Tomorrow is weekend, isn't it? Yeah. It's a weekend and you have weekends for two days. And then there's... Uh, it could be that many people uh, run away to the mountain, because we got lots of snow, and people can travel abroad, without PCR tests, but they can go, we have a lovely mountains here in Bosnia. Yeah. So I think lots of people went for skiing as well. Because when you connect everything, it's like you get four days mm. of holiday. There's the biggest shopping center in, in Banja Luka, but there's no cars, so it's obviously... Yeah, there is some cars. But not many. I think the restaurant works. Yeah, the restaurant works. And then it's uh, Christmas Eve for, for Orthodox and yes, Christmas so Day on 7th. Yes, went to the mountain, let me continue so, from what Okay, I'm sorry. And then uh, we have a Christmas, and Christmas is 6th and 7th, so these are non-working days. And then we have... Uh, oops. I hate you on the boats, by the way. And then we have... What do we have then? We have the Republic of Srpska Day on 9th of January. And then there's different saints. Different saints, but this year there's no saints because of Corona. Yeah. So. Yeah, look at this road. It's. This is normally it. This is normally not as empty as this. I think. Everyone but. is sleeping. <laughs> and yesterday, uh, the shops and everything, the coffee bars were open only till 10 o'clock or maybe till 7. I can't remember now. And, but I'm sure there were some private parties, most probably. We'll see how many people get infected in the next two weeks. More grach. More grach. Does that mean more farting? We can be open. More if... farting, more farting. <laughs> so what's the plan about not buying any more bread? Look at that, I learned. David, you need to clean your oven. I know. Look at that, I'm making, I learned how to make easy, the easiest bread ever. Before you go to bed, you mix it, mm -hmm. you leave it overnight, tomorrow yep. morning you bake it. There's no need. No kneading of the Do bread. you really think that you're going to be up to doing this every night so that we don't have to yes, buy Yes, and we don't have to spend money on the different thing. We can use this. What's the name of it then? Uh, it's a uh, no need bread. It's like a rustic type of. No need. No need. As in kneading. No need bread. I can make a recipe. It's can marvelous. We can we try this before we try the... The oh my god, look at my bread! It looks so good! I'm so proud of myself.
Oh, can you hear that? Oh my god. Stuffed inside and crunchy outside. Isn't that... Oh, lady, look at that! It's like a sourdough bread. Oh, it oh smells. Oh my god. Let's have a bite. And this is called No Need Bread. Try it. What do you think? Dog's nuts. I know it's a dog's nuts. Do you know what this is? This is a death of local bread for us. Mm. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. I'll make it for different kinds of uh, flowers, seeds. But no fruit for me. No, I don't think you can make this fit. Not this kind. This is going to be absolutely amazing yes. with um, blueberry jam or strawberry jam. Let's cut one more. Let's cut one more. Oh. So the plan is... It's still hot. So the plan is before we go to bed... You mix it, it takes two minutes. Two minutes it takes. And how long to bake from start to finish? Look at that, it's like an Italian ciabatta. Mm. Brilliant. Mm. Amazing. Stuff from inside, crusty from the outside. I need another picture. In the car yesterday you said about the meat. This is the meat that we were talking about. Yes. What What is it? Boot, yes? Boot. What is boot in English? I don't know. It's the best part of the meat. Like the backside? The backside, yes. The, the cheekbone. So that's your boot? That's my boot. I think ah, do you think that's where the, the American thing is my boot? Do you think that's where the Americans got booty from? Yes. Uh huh. How many kilos? Mm. I reckon. About a kilo and a half, I think. Mm. Much up to the kilo. Definitely. And it's all been spiced up. You've got it under. Yes, because we need to let it sit for a bit, and I'll leave it in the room temperature, and then we're gonna do it. You're gonna do it in the oven or in the in the in a satch? In a satch, electric satch. This is our electric satch. We had this for Christmas and it was really beautiful, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And Tasty. And we made the gravy and what we discovered, the best way to make a gravy is to use black beer. <laughs> Colonel people. So you're going to go and buy some black beer as well? Yes, but you don't put too much, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then the gravy stays nice and brown and the, you obviously you cannot taste the beer, but you can taste the molasses, the flavor. Okay, quick change of subject. Do you mind? No, don't fill my bread. It's not. It didn't run. Ah, what it happened to the bread? Properly. I don't know. Did your bread? Did your bread not rise? No. Her bread didn't rise, and she's so. It needs to be maybe one more centimeter up. She's so pissed off about it. There's black beer under that trivet. Rosmarinko. Rosmarinko. We put one in there. When do we put the meat in? Now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amazingly tasty. Lots of cooking been going on uh, in the background. As I said, uh, you'll be watching this on Serbian Christmas Day on the 7th of January. The night before, which is the 6th, is when Tamara makes Chesnitsa, which is the traditional bread uh, that is served as part of um, a Christmas Day lunch uh, in this part of Bosnia-Herzegovina. Anyway, she makes it every year. Um, <laughs> this is being uploaded before she makes this year's bread so I'm being totally transparent but this is what we've done uh, in past years uh, making Chesnitsa. It's the uh, 6th of January and um, it's Serbian Christmas Eve so tomorrow is uh, a day of um, uh, well, as far as we're concerned eating but one of the things that's got to be done is the bread now every year we make the bread um, the dough is is quite unique and it's always money goes into it so it's going to be an Anglo-Bosnian one, this, uh, yeah, that's a pound that's going to go in there. And in this pocket here, as you can see, is all the money, because um, somebody's uh, great-grandmother said that if you have money, 
while you're making this bread you'll have money you'll be lucky and you'll get money throughout the year so once again don't uh, we're not superstitious but on the other hand we don't believe in taking chances so this is the Serbian bread Christmas bread um, the last time I had one of these was in Hong Kong it's really cool tomorrow we'll show you about moving it to the left and moving it to the right and breaking it and whoever gets the coin will get the good luck so at the moment this is the dough being made then it's going to be uh, formed up and we'll show you that in a minute and then it goes and it gets baked comes out and it will cool off and then tomorrow we'll have it so um, Christmas Eve Serbian Christmas Eve and it's all about the money so this is the bread um, it's now it rises twice so this is the first time that it's it's risen apparently uh, traditional bread is made without yeast but this does have yeast in it so there we go it's gonna be quite a big bread I think don't you agree I do so it just got a punch and it's now gone down so it's got to come out and be kneaded again as uh, all is being done traditionally um, then it will be kneaded and it goes to, to rise again so we'll come back we won't watch it being kneaded this time but we'll watch it when it comes out for the second time so it's we are going to show you kneading yeah, with the knuckles going in kneading it if I, if I lose my, my, uh, <laughs> my ability to talk in a minute we're, we're going to have um, a madras in a minute and I just tried it and uh, wow. so this is kneading for the second time Serbian Christmas bread There's the money, the British pound that's going to go in now. When we do another film, hopefully if I remember, when uh, the bread gets uh, passed around between everybody tomorrow on Serbian Christmas Day, then the bread will be broken and some lucky person uh, will have the coin. Well, that's uh, the way the tradition goes. And uh, it's all been boiled up, waiting for the bread to go in.
here's the plat, which is going to be one of the decorations. So there's the other half of the, <coughs> the plat being put together. What you didn't see though was Cooper, our Istrian Gonich, <laughs> actually got up and uh, stole part of it. So um, he's down there at the moment, I suppose waiting for the next episode. So there's some decoration starting already. So it's got to rise again, but before that there's going to be a glaze on it. So. Um, it's the yellow going on, and the reason being is it, um, we like to have it golden, basically, which uh, is a personal thing, I think. Make it nice and golden when it, when it finally gets baked off. So, the bread is now risen. The oven is ready, and now it's quickly in. It's got to go quickly in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In it goes, and then when it comes out, in 40 minutes, we'll have Serbian Christmas bread. How cool is that? It's growing. It's going to be a rather large bread, he thinks. Okay, it's 40 minutes later, and the bread is going to come out. Now the shape we've been looking at and laughing at but it's um, sort of like spread and split where the nice um, plaques were. But nevertheless what a super cake. I think that looks quite cool actually. So there we go. And this is a Serbian Christmas bread. Turn upside down. If it comes look at that. Perfect. So there you are, that's Tamara making our Chesnitzer. I'll be watching this on YouTube the same time as you're watching this uh, on YouTube, except I will have just most probably have finished my Serbian Christmas lunch uh, in Banja Luka with Tam uh, and her parents. That's it then uh, from this episode, episode 20. Goodness, we've got to 20 episodes uh, on this new format. Hope you're still enjoying them. Please do like, share, subscribe, do all the other things that YouTubers say. Also that bell so you get notificate, notifications, notified every time that we upload um, a new video. How will 2021 pan out? I have got no idea. I just keep my fingers crossed that COVID-19, the coronavirus, the pandemic, whatever phrase you want to use, starts to go away and we can either get back to normal or we can understand what our new normal is. Okay, until this time next week, do stay safe wherever you are in these very challenging times.